Hey, how's it guys? In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the steps to set up Google BigQuery to connect to DBT Cloud. All right, so I'll be uh, using the example from DBT's website. You are more than welcome to follow along the example from the website, and which I'll link the link in the description below. Now let's look at the agenda and the uh, prerequisites first before diving into the uh, tutorial. Alright, so for this tutorial, uh, you will need to have some experience working with uh, Google BigQuery and Google Cloud Platform because we'll be navigating the platform uh, a little bit. And I'll be using GitHub to store and set up the uh, development environment. So it will be nice uh, if you have some experience working with GitHub. As for the agenda, first we're going to create a service account that ties to your BigQuery project. Next, we'll download the uh, service account file and which is required when we set up the uh, connection. Then we're going to create a DBT Cloud project and prepare the environment. Then we'll set up the uh, Google BigQuery connection in DBT. Then we're going to uh, set up the GitHub repository for your DBT Cloud project. Then we'll run a simple exercise. All right, so let's get started. So first you want to navigate to getdbt.com. And increase the uh, zoom. All right, so first I want to navigate to getdbt.com, then uh, create an account and sign in. And we dive into the pricing first. All right, so if you are using this just for your own personal uh, development or for your personal learning experience, then uh, for the developer's account, it's going to be free. By for a company, then uh, it's going to be uh, $50 per developer per seat uh, per month. All right, so that's going to be everything I'm going to cover for the pricing. Now in my DBT's uh, homepage, it's going to directly uh, navigate to my project. So the first thing I want to show you is how to delete a project. Now to delete a project, I want to click on this uh, navigation menu icon. Then you want to go to account settings. And under projects, I should see all your available projects. Now select the project I want to delete. And I'm going to uh, delete my DBT BigQuery demo project. All right, so once you are in the uh, details page, you want to click on edit. Then click on delete project. And for the confirmation, uh, click on I'm sure delete this project. All right, so let's create the service account and download the service account file first. All right, so here we want to navigate to console.cloud.google.com. Now on the top, select the project that you want to create a connection to your DBT project. And I'm going to uh, select my SQL for BigQuery project. Now click on navigation menu. Then go to APIs and services, then click on credentials. Now on the top, click on credentials and select service account. All right, so I'll name this account uh, DBT BigQuery Demo. And click on create and continue. Now select a row to assign to uh, this account. Now since I'm the owner, so I can choose basic and choose owner role to give me permission to uh, every single services. By form to limiting uh, what permissions a user or these users will have access to. So what I would recommend is uh, use the BigQuery data editor to give the users uh, read or write access to the BigQuery console while providing permission to other uh, services. But for this exercise, I'm going to uh, choose owner as the uh, permission set and continue. Now at this point, we have created the service account and I can click on done to finish the setup. Now under the service account, choose the account that we just created. On the top, click on keys and I want to create a new set of key. So click on add key and create a new key. And for the key type, uh, choose JSON. And I'll save the file in my uh, project folder. 
I'll name the file to something uh, more recognizable. So I'll name the file uh, SA it stands for service account dash dbt dash bakery. And maybe the uh, project name can be XYZ or something. Now I'll save the file. All right, so here's my uh, service account file. Now this one more thing I want to do, I want to show you how to enable the BigQuery uh, API service, and which is going to be uh, used for, uh, for some of the DVT uh, functions. All right, so let's go back to navigation menu. I want to go to APIs and services and click on library. And here, uh, search for BigQuery. And it should be the uh, first item on the list. Now click on the uh, API service and make sure that the API is enabled. Now I can close the tab and I'll close the uh, pricing page. All right, so we have uh, finished step one. Now let's go to uh, step two. All right, so uh, to create a new project in DBT Cloud, I want to navigate to account settings, then click on new project. Now here we can follow the instruction. Click on begin. And it will give this project name. And I'll name the project uh, dbt cloud demo for bakery one. And if you expand advanced settings, uh, you can provide your own uh, project subdirectory. But for now I'm going to uh, skip this and click on continue. Now select BigQuery as the uh, data warehouse type. Now here we want to give out a uh, connection name. For the name convention for the uh, database connection, I usually like to use my Google Cloud project name. In this case, it's going to be SQL for BigQuery. Now scroll down to uh, BigQuery settings. Now click on upload a service account JSON file and select the service account file that was just created. And that will auto-populate the uh, information that the project is required to set up the connection. So by default, uh, the location is going to be set to USA, but if your data set is set to uh, auto location, then here you need to uh, specify the location. And you can also change the uh, 10 miles uh, duration and the uh, uh, retries uh, number. And a couple other informations to which I'll let you to figure out. Now I want to uh, go to development credentials uh, section. So for the data set, uh, this is going to be the data set's name that DBT is going to create when DBT performs the workflow. And here I want to uh, rename the data set to dbt demo underscore bakery and for the uh, targeting and address I'm going to leave them as default now go to the top and click on test to uh, test the connection and once the connection is established we can click on continue to go to the next step right so uh, dbt stores the project files in a GitHub repository. So here we can use dbt's uh, GitHub repository in which they will uh, manage the files for us. And if you want to have more control uh, with your files, they will recommend that you choose uh, either GitHub or GitLab. And I'm going to uh, use GitHub since I like to have uh, more controls with my files. And here you should see that uh, no repository is uh, found. And that's because uh, we haven't linked the uh, repository. All right, so here I want to create a new repository in my GitHub's account. So I'm going to, first of all, uh, create a new repository. And I'll name the repository uh, dbt demo one And we can uh, choose public or private, it's up to you. And I'm going to uh, leave everything else as uh, default. I'm not going to uh, fail anything. So click on create repository. 
and you should see the quick setups page. Now let's go back to uh, DVD Cloud. Now I want to uh, go back to account settings. Oh, I go to the wrong place. Uh, it should be on the profile. On the left, click on integrations. So if you want to link our uh, GitHub's uh, repository to our DBT account, not project account. So click on configure integration in GitHub and choose your GitHub account. All right, so we can either uh, provide access to all our GitHub repository to DBT, or we can choose only a specific uh, repository. And I'm going to choose only select repositories. Now here, uh, basically just pick the uh, repository that you want to uh, link to DBT Cloud. And I'm going to uh, choose the uh, repository that I just created. Now click on install. Right, so I want to uh, go back to the project. Now on the overview, click on configure a repository. Now click on GitHub. And since I provide access to allow DBT Cloud to uh, connect to my DBT demo repository, so I'm going to choose uh, this repository to store my files. Now go back to the uh, project. And we have finished uh, connecting our repository to my uh, dbt cloud demo for bigquery one dbt cloud project now on the welcome to uh this is going to be your uh account name on dbt clouds page want to click on start developing to uh basically to prepare the file and once the environment is prepared so right now if we look at the uh, dbt demos folder and there's no files or anything so i want to uh, click on initialize your project to generate the files now i want to uh, make our first command so for the uh, command message i want to i'll just say uh, first commit And it's going to uh, push the files to my GitHub repository. Now if I refresh the uh, page. And here we have successfully loaded the uh, project files to my GitHub's repository. In this case will be uh, my dbt demo one uh, repository. Now to run the workflow. So here uh, if I go into my BigQuery console, Now noticing that under my uh, SQL for BigQuery project, I don't have uh, any new data sets created. And if I go back to dbt cloud, and I'll, I'll use the command dbt run to run the uh, workflow. And it's going to run a sample workflow to uh, create two uh, tables. And one is going to be a table and one is going to be a view. And as well as it's going to create a new data set and putting those two tables into that data set in my uh, BigQuery project. Now if I expand my SQL for BigQuery folder, and you should see the uh, dbt demo BigQuery uh, data set is created. And under this uh, dbt demo BigQuery data set, I have a table and a view created based on the uh, project detail that uh, specify in the dbt project file and which I'll go over in more detail in the next video. But for now, I think this is going to be something I want to uh, share in this video, just to show you that how to uh, set up your DVT uh, project and how to connect to uh, DVT to your GitHub to set up the environment. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, see you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.